Hey everybody, um, welcome to my, my uh, let me start that again. <laughs> hey everybody, welcome to my seven secrets for creating your lead magnet. Um, this is the presentation that I'm giving actually in just a, a, a few short days next week on Friday uh, at SuccessCon that's being hosted by Box Out Marketing. Um, and SuccessCon is replacing Icon or InfusionCon, uh, which was the user conference that Infusionsoft used to host every single year. They did it for about 10 years, then realized that they were uh, spending a lot of money to put on this um, this event and they wanted to focus inward more and they want to, to wanted more uh, so to focus on their core product so they have have passed the baton so to speak um, to box out and other certified partners like myself and them um, to put on the other user conferences that are going to be um, better maybe smaller maybe more localized for different people um, and this success con really is um, the first one of those to come so it's really exciting and I am thrilled honored and uh, so excited that I have the pleasure of speaking and presenting at success con next week so I'm flying to San Diego on Tuesday and um, will be there all week so I'm hoping to grab a couple of awesome nuggets of information that I can share with um, with my clients with all of my kickstart clients with um, everybody in my membership group uh, so We'll see what comes of it, and I will um, try to do like some Facebook Lives and email you guys any um, tri tips or tricks or anything that I pick up there that I think would be applicable to your businesses. Um, I'll be sure to, to share that as much as I can. So thank you, everyone, for, um, for getting together this evening to watch my presentation. It means a lot to me. I really appreciate it. So... Um, welcome to the presentation on seven secrets to creating your lead magnet. Um, the primary goal of this presentation is, uh, is really this is for business owners. This is for business owners who need to either create their lead magnet for the very first time or maybe you're a business owner and you already have a lead magnet that you want to change or you want to update your existing one. Um, this is definitely for you you're in the right place and the goals of this session really are that I'm going to teach you the strategy behind a good lead magnet I'm going to show you a couple examples um, and then we're actually going to go through the process on the call tonight together um, same thing with when I do this live in San Diego next Friday um, I am going to physically walk everyone in the room through creating their lead magnet right here right now um, and so, you know, I hope you are ready and you either are um, in front of a computer and you can type or you have a pen and paper handy because this is going to be very, uh, very interactive and this is going to be a great session to get uh, your lead magnet up and running and get that started for you. <clears throat> so let's take a minute to state the obvious. Right now, it's obviously Tuesday. Um, it's 7 p.m. at least in Eastern time, which obviously means that it's late. Um, most of us ended work uh, a couple hours ago, um, unless you're like me and you ended, ended work about five minutes ago. And, um, you know, I get it. I get that we're all entrepreneurs. Um, <clears throat> we've, got, we've got a lot going on. We have a lot to do in our businesses. And so for you all to make the commitment at 7 p.m. Um, to be here. You know, you could be working on your business in other ways. You could be creating Infusionsoft campaigns, which we're gonna get to and we're gonna do that today anyway. Um, you could be having dinner with your family and, and doing uh, a whole list of plenty of other things. Um, but I really appreciate that you are here on a Tuesday at 7 p.m., um, ready and willing to dig into your business and to create something that you can um, use to market your business in many, many different ways. So you're definitely in the right place, and um, I promise you that <clears throat> you will leave here tonight. As long as you stay for the full webinar, you will leave here tonight with your lead magnet <clears throat> super, super close to done. Um, if you're a client of mine, if you're in my Kickstart program, or if you are in my membership program, um, <clears throat> I would be happy to 
talk to you about all of these later, go over any of the content with you as well, give you the recording to this so you can watch it later, um, and all of that. So I just really wanted to acknowledge that you guys are here. Um, you know, you could be doing other things, but you're here focusing on your business and um, that really is commendable. So thank you. Thank you for that. And, you know, pat on the back to you guys for, um, for dedicating the time to do so. So for those of you that are here again, my promise to you tonight is that you will leave uh, this webinar tonight with your lead magnet done or very, very, very close to done. Um, so let's go ahead and jump right in. Um, who am I and why should you, why should you pay attention? Why is this important? Um, my name is Jillian Kendrick. I'm sure all of you guys know me anyway, <laughs> but I'm an Infusionsoft certified partner. I've worked in Infusionsoft as a user consultant for about eight years now. Um, I call myself a business success strategist because I help clients um, achieve that success in their business. I own Informed Marketing Solutions, which is the name of my company, and my primary business is that I do coaching and consulting uh, for business owners, for Infusionsoft users, um, and for entrepreneurs. And I want to talk to you right now um, really a little bit about my business, but most importantly, um, just why you should pay attention is one of my more recent success stories. So I have a client, her name is Emma, and Emma has a website. Um, she has products to sell, but she was only selling them, she's only selling these products to the early adopters on her list. So other than a few YouTube videos, maybe a blog post or two, uh, she was really, she really didn't have much content on her site and she was missing an opportunity to serve and engage the leads that came to her site uh, or Facebook page or wherever. She was missing that opportunity to engage with them um, for, the, for the leads who weren't quite ready to buy. So Emma needed a way to provide value to her leads before they actually spent any money. And that's um, how we came about creating a lead magnet for Emma. We created this lead magnet and um, delivered it via a follow-up campaign inside of Infusionsoft. This campaign runs on autopilot and gives Emma's leads um, value upfront. And in a way, it gives Emma's leads a, kind of a risk-free glimpse into what it would be like to do business with her or what the what the uh, goal or what they can expect to achieve when they do business with Emma. And really at the end of the day, that's what your leads are looking for. Anybody who comes to your website, ultimately that's what they're looking for. Like it's great that you might list, you know, we've been in business for 20 years, we've done this, we've worked with this person, but at the end of the day, all somebody truly, truly cares about is what can you do for me? What's in it for me? What's the benefit for me? And so giving someone a lead magnet and providing them with that glimpse into the value that you can give, um, the expertise that you provide, and what it would be like to work with you, um, that it is, it's really immeasurable, um, the kind of impact that something like this can have on your business, let alone the fact that once you create this thing, whatever it is, whether it's uh, an audio, an ebook, a PDF, a checklist, um, that thing, that entity will always exist and you don't have to, you don't have to duplicate it, right? You can't, we can't duplicate ourselves. We can't duplicate, <laughs> there's no such thing as cloning, but we can hand out this PDF to anybody who wants it. We can give that uh, access to that audio to anybody who wants it. And so they can get that glimpse into what it would be like to work with us. We can provide value upfront to the leads who maybe aren't quite ready to buy. Uh, so let me, let me go ahead and ask you guys a question. Um, is there anyone here, and you can type this into the chat. I'll get my chat up real quick. Is there anyone here, um, listening tonight that already has a lead magnet for their business? Like a lead magnet, an opt-in, whether it's a video, audio, PDF, checklist, something like that. 
Um, is there anybody who doesn't have one and actually wants to create one tonight? Okay, so we've got a couple. So Dan, hi Dan, thank you so much for being here. So Dan says, not yet. Um, Adrian, Adrian, thanks for being on. Adrian says, yes, you have an ebook that's a PDF. Super. Um, Tiffany, thanks again for being on as well. I haven't heard from her, but uh, oh, she says, <laughs> no, not yet. Well, super. So we've got a good mix of people who are here tonight that, um, you know, one of you has a, a lead magnet and maybe you want to just see if you're doing the right thing or maybe you want to update it based on what we do tonight. Um, and then for Dan uh, and Tiffany, this is a great opportunity for you guys in your business to, to create your lead magnet right here, right now. So that's awesome. And that helps me just to know where each of you are at so I can kind of direct my language um, to, to fit your needs. So thank you guys for that feedback. Super. So let's go ahead and dive right in um, to the different secrets. So this is, of course, again, the, the seven secrets for creating your lead magnet. And secret number one is that your lead magnet needs to be in a format that your audience will consume it. So you really need to know your audience well enough um, to understand what it is that they're looking for. So maybe um, in Adrian's case, um, I, don't, I don't quite know your business, but if you have an ebook, to me that would say that um, your audience likes to read, um, that your audience, <coughs> excuse me, that your audience, you know, enjoys receiving information in that way. Uh, somebody who creates an audio, maybe they, um, obviously that those would be more auditory people, more visual people would like like a video or a PDF or something like that. If you have people, uh, and we can think about that in, in the terms of um, those learning styles. So there are three different learning styles, audio, visual, and kinesthetic. The audio and the visual, visual are pretty straightforward, but kinesthetic people means that they like to actually do. They like to get their hands dirty. Those are the, the people that like to play with Legos, right? And um, so a kinesthetic person or a kinesthetic learner might appreciate um, a checklist or something like that that they can actually take as an actionable item. Whereas an ebook or a PDF uh, might be better for like the visual learners or a video might be better for the visual learners. Um, an audio, pretty straightforward that it would be better for the audio, for the auditory learners. So you might want to think about that and just think about what format is it that your audience is going to best consume, uh, consume that, that uh, technology in. Secret number two, uh, and this one's pretty straightforward as well, but your lead magnet needs to be consumable within 15 minutes or less. And I say, honestly, the jury's kind of out in terms of what that timing should be. Some people will tell you five minutes, some people will tell you 10, some people will tell you more or less, this and that. But I, I'd like to say that it should be about 15 minutes, about 10 to 15 minutes. Anybody, no matter how busy you are, no matter what you're doing in your business, anybody in the world should be able to give you at least 10 to 15 minutes of their time to look over the value that you're providing to them. Um, also, if you can deliver a quick win, something that's actionable or something that gives them that aha moment, that light bulb moment, that value within that 15 minute uh, time frame, um, you're definitely, definitely winning and doing it right. Secret number three is that your lead magnet needs to solve one problem and only one problem. And this might seem straightforward, but um, as entrepreneurs, as creative people, as people who are um, cursed with what we call the curse of knowledge, uh, it's very easy for, for us to, um, to know our business and to say, well, uh, I'm just thinking, for instance, um, uh, will be a good example of that. Um, for instance, florists, like you could talk about 
one type of flower. You can get into all sorts of genuses and species of, of, of different flowers. And you can go on and on and you can start to tangent off about so many different aspects of the business and so many different pieces that you, you kind of forget um, that you need to stay focused. So your, your lead magnet really, really needs to solve just one problem and only that one. Um, another example that I give is say that say that you're um, in the market of like selling pet food. Well, if you're selling pet food, you might also want to talk about vitamins, um, but you wouldn't necessarily talk about visiting a veterinarian or you wouldn't talk about pet health. You might talk about it in terms of the health that the food can provide to the pet. Um, but you know, there's so many things that we can say and talk about and tangent off and we know so much about our business. It's really easy to just kind of go in one direction and then you go off into another direction. Um, it's really, really important that your lead magnet is focused and will only solve one problem that the customer has. Secret number four, uh, your lead magnet needs to coincide with the mission of your business. And this really is about clarity. So Marie Forleo always says a confused mind won't buy. Um, and there really should be no disconnect here. If the mission of your business is helping clients through a divorce, you're not going to talk about weight loss. If the mission, um, if the mission of your business, uh, like for Tiffany, for instance, if the mission of her business is to give, is to take people on tours to Europe and show them a really, really great time, um, well, she's not necessarily going to talk about the, uh, like the, the quality of the, the buses or the airplanes. That's a factor in her business, but at the end of the day, like nobody really cares about that sort of thing. So it really needs to to be laser focused with your mission. Um, and that kind of coincides too with um, the solving of one and only one problem as well. Uh, secret number five, your lead magnet needs to be catchy and needs to be clear. So I found that the best way to be catchy and clear is to use quantifiable language. Numbers and statistics really help our brains um, to focus on things and to make them more interesting. So it's one thing for people to say, um, or, or actually um, Dan's business is a really good example of this. So, so for Dan, um, it's one thing to say that, oh, our power meters really, really help out your business. Well, that's true, but that's not quantifiable. But if you can tell somebody, you know, our power meters will help reduce your um, your waste by, you know, 40% or, you know, I'm making this up, but whatever it is, that's, that's quantifiable. Like that's real hard numbers and language that people can, can, um, they can kind of attach the value that you provide to the number that you're giving. And so when it comes to keeping things catchy, and also it gives that clarity that you're not just giving that overarching phrase of, oh, you know, a lot of people think this or, or, you know, a lot of business owners have found that. But if you can actually quantify that number and say, you know, 40% of our clients have seen a, uh, I don't know, I'm again making this up, but if you can say 40% of our clients have seen uh, a 32% decrease in their, um, their power waste and it's resulted in, you know, a, a net profit of plus, plus 5% or something like that. Um, that's, that's clarity right there. That's real hardcore numbers that people can um, assign to the value that you are providing as a business or as a service. And that's really, really important. Secret number six, uh, whatever your lead magnet is, needs to deliver on what you promise. So for instance, my lead magnet, the seven secrets to crafting your perfect offer or the seven secrets to creating your lead magnet, um, is actually, uh, it, originally it was going to be an audio form. And this is the visual example that I have is my iPhone um, showing, showing the, the ability to play that MP3. Um, on my iPhone. And so that's a visual example of exactly what it is that they're getting. 
Uh, and that too, that kind of ties back into um, one of our, I think it was secret number two that says, um, you know, where we were talking about the different, um, the different learning types. If somebody is audio, if someone's an audio auditory learner, they're going to be drawn to downloading a, a, an MP3 or an audio. So they're going to be drawn to the visual of this iPhone. Whereas if somebody is more visual, if somebody wants to read a PDF and maybe you show them a picture of a book, or you show them a picture of a PDF or like a download link or something like that. Um, or if it's a list, maybe you actually show them a picture of, of a list or a stack of papers. Show them something visual that they can attach to what it is that they're going to receive. And then you can deliver on whatever it is that you're promising to them. So, um, and this might seem really, really simple, but if you're giving them if you're giving them a PDF, don't show them that you're giving them an audio, right? Pretty straightforward, but I, can, I cannot tell you how many times um, in the last eight or so years that I've been, been working in, in um, internet marketing, I cannot tell you how many times I have seen people promise PDFs and it's actually an audio or promise an audio and it's actually an ebook. Um, it might seem really dumb, but deliver on what you promise. Secret number seven, research, research, research. Um, pretty straightforward, pretty simple, but you know, know what you're talking about. Double check your statistics. Um, and, and really importantly, not only to test and research the material that you're putting into your lead magnet, but it's important to research and test your lead magnet once it's created. Test it with friends, test it with colleagues. Um, you know, see what the response is to it. Uh, for instance, I had created my seven secrets for cre for crafting your perfect offer. I created that audio, and it took me <laughs> it took me a long time. Um, I worked so hard. I worked nights on that thing. It was like my child. I was so proud of it. And then I had shared it with a, a colleague of mine, and she said, "You know, Jillian, that was really great." Uh, you did a good job. However, and this is where the visual part comes in, she said, you know, I was listening to it and I was really craving something to look at. Um, I was really craving like a visual to go along with what it was that you were saying. And I said, oh, well, isn't that interesting? Okay. So then I ended up, um, and I wouldn't necessarily recommend this, but I ended up creating a PDF, an audio, and a video version of my lead magnet. All three of them that I could hand out um, depending on what, what it was that somebody wanted to see or what type of a learner somebody was if they wanted it in a different format. But definitely make sure that you're researching and that you are testing um, what it is that, yeah, exactly, spelling errors, highlighting things, Something, yeah, and <laughs> yeah, my spelling error right there. Thanks, Dan. <laughs> it happens. Um, so I did say that I would give you seven secrets, but I do have a bonus secret, of course. It really wouldn't be um, an Infusionsoft conference. It wouldn't be an Infusionsoft webinar without, um, without something related to Infusionsoft and marketing automation. And... Um, the bonus secret is don't forget to follow up. And I know that's really easy uh, for, for some of us to do, especially some of us that are new to Infusionsoft and uh, maybe aren't used to doing a lot of marketing automation. But even if you follow up in just two or three emails, um, that, that could make all the difference for a lead that is just getting to know you and just learning about, um, about your business and all of that. And we'll go over that, um, <clears throat> excuse me, we'll go over that in a, in a little bit of detail towards the end as well. So just to recap, the seven secrets is make sure it's in a, a, a format that your audience is going to consume it in. Make sure that um, you can present the information in 15 minutes or less if possible. Make sure that it solves one problem 
Make sure that it matches your mission, that it's catchy and clear, that you're delivering on what you promise, that you research, hope I spell, I did spell that right. Okay, good. <laughs> and that you're, that the bonus secret is that you are following up with, um, with your, your audience and with the people that um, are downloading and consuming this content. Because really at the end of the day, that that's what this is for. You're creating the lead magnet so that you don't have to duplicate yourself. You don't have to duplicate the process. You can hand this lead magnet out to anybody who is interested in potentially doing business with you. And then as they become more interested and they warm up to you, then you can, um, you know, take that process depending on how you do sales and whatnot. So now that I've given you a lot of strategy as to, um, as to what a lead magnet is, I want to show you guys some examples and then we're actually going to dive in right here, right now into, um, working on creating your lead magnets tonight. So, um, a couple examples here, the one on the left, I like a lot. I, I love the visual because this is very clearly, she says that it's an ebook. I'm assuming it's a she, but they say that it's an ebook and they are showing you a visual of an, of a book and they are delivering what it is that they promise. Also, um, the 10 best makeup and beauty secrets for women over 40. Um, they're using, they're using that quantifiable language by saying the 10 best secrets and then women over 40. So they're specifying this is the thing that's for this specific target audience. I really love that. This looks great. Um, only thing that I would fix personally is it only asks for the email address. I would put first name, but that's just me. Um, the example on the right, four, four, ah, four Facebook ad mistakes that are losing you money. Um, that, I mean, losing you money to me is like an instant grab of my attention as a business owner. If I can... Um, obviously I want to make money, but if I can save money in any way, that's really, really important um, to all of us. So that, you know, that's really important. That grabs my attention as well. And then it's saying four Facebook ad mistakes, and then it lists visually number one, number two, number three, and number four. So it's giving you, so it's not necessarily saying um, it's an e-course, so it can't really give you a visual of a course, but it is saying four mistakes and then it gives you a visual of kind of like folders, I guess, of what it is that, that you can expect and gives you a little bit more detail on each of those. I really, really like this one a lot. Another a couple of examples. Um, on the right, we have Sam Bennett, who's also um, an Infusionsoft certified partner. She, um, she teaches creatives and creative writers how to basically how to market and how to be business owners. Um, so procrastination domination starter kit. Um, you know, that's a pretty good one as well, but I really love the, the one on the left here, the cheat sheet for writing blog posts. Now this one isn't quite a good visual representation because the image on the left is a book. Whereas this is saying you get a cheat sheet. So there's, there's a tiny bit of a disconnect there, but I mean, cheat sheet, book, paper, you know, at least it's not showing you like an audio or a CD or something like that. So they haven't quite hit the nail on the head, at least for me, um, but it's, it's somewhat close. And this is really more or less to give you guys an example um, of what other people do and what's possible. A couple more examples, just real, real fast. Tony Robbins, you know, everybody knows who he is. Um, take your life to the next level. Download your free gift edition of Tony Robbins, Reawaken the Giant Within. Um, download your book now. See, this, again, isn't like a great visual because on the left, it's showing, it's showing his video, but he's saying download your book. Um, it's also asking for first and last name. You may or may not want to do that. Um, the example on the right is pretty good though. So a free guide, even if that's, um, a book, that's okay. And, you know, click to receive your complimentary guide. I like that one a lot. And visually, um, it's really, really nice. And I, I appreciate as well on the bottom here, if you look, um, it also says it includes 
plus weekly advice, no, no spam, unsubscribe at any time. I, I really appreciate when people create opt-ins and they say, um, we will not spam you. Unsubscribe at any time. This is what you, this is, and plus, the plus weekly advice, that is giving them a note of and setting the expectation of what that follow-up is going to be like. They can expect to receive a weekly email from this company um, with, with the advice that they give. Awesome. So now that we've gone through a couple examples, let's actually dive into building this thing. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to walk through what is your business, what's the product or service that you provide, what is the end result that you're giving to your customers. Uh, we'll look at the way that we're going to lay out everything, the format in which we're going to lay it out. Uh, we'll actually go through the creation process, and then I'll show you a quick example of a delivery campaign that I've used for my own lead magnet as well. Um, another thing to note also, um, especially for the two of you guys that are here and you don't have a lead magnet, always know that version 1.0 will always be better than version 0.0. So you might go through this exercise and think, well, this really isn't, this isn't exactly what I thought it was going to be, or, you know, maybe, maybe you don't quite hit the nail on the head the first time. That's okay. Um, that's why we do this. It's, it's, a, it's an exercise. It's a muscle the exact same way that, you know, we have to walk or work out every single day. Um, we kind of have to flex those marketing and creative muscles as well. So let's dive into what is your business. And again, make sure that you have either um, your notepad and pen handy. I have a notepad here and I'll be walking through the exercises with you guys as well. Uh, make sure that you have either the notepad and pen handy or that you have like a Word doc or a notepad or something open on your desktop um, and you can go ahead and write this out. So who are you? What is it that you do? And for some people, it might be as simple as saying, well, I'm a lawyer or I'm a nurse. Um, I unfortunately, you know, I as well as probably most of you guys don't really have the luxury of, of saying that you know, I have a one line title of my business and everyone under the sun knows exactly what that is, like lawyer or doctor or nurse or fireman or something like that. You might have to explain it in a little bit greater detail. So um, what is it? What is it? What is, what is your business? Even to write out the business name, go ahead and write that out. And you can just say, I am, I am a um blank so what do you do what is your business if you want to share you guys are welcome to type it into the group chat as well um, as write it down in your notebook and there really are no wrong answers awesome Next, let's think about the product or the service that you provide. First, let's determine, is it a product or is it a service? It might be both. Um, for me and my business, I do consulting and education, so mine is more service-based. I technically sell products, but not really. Um, what's the result that you're driving them towards? For Tiffany, who runs uh, a tour company, the result that you're driving them towards might be um, the vacation of a lifetime. You know, it might be um, an opportunity for, it might be an opportunity to travel that some person, you know, hasn't had in the past, something like that. Um, and think about this in terms of the end result that you provide for that client or the customer. So are you driving them towards um, you know, for Dan, it might be, are you driving? And, and Adrian, actually, if, um, uh, if you want to tell me what your business is, I can, um, try to give you a couple of examples too. I, I know Dan and Tiffany personally as well. So it's a little bit easier for me having worked with them, um, to know their businesses in a bit more depth. 
but um, you know, for Dan, it might actually be be selling them that um, that uh, I forget what the piece is. We just did this campaign last week, right? But it might be selling them that, and then the result that you're driving them towards um, is lower costs, uh, better efficiencies, um, reduced, reduced power waste, reduced power outages, stuff like that. Marketing technology consultant and educator. Awesome. Yep. That's great, Adrian. Thank you for that. Um, so your lead magnet is going to be a stepping stone towards your bigger offer. So you want to think about, you want to create your lead magnet with the end in mind, knowing that you are, you know, this is the opportunity to kind of lead them to water is really what this should be. Uh, and let, again, let's just talk about those results. So what is the end result that your product gives or that your service gives to your customer? Or what problem is it that you solve? Um, Adrian says, I'm a marketing tech, uh, marketing technology consultant. Ooh, we should talk. Um, an educator working primarily with small to mid-sized agencies. Super. That's great. So the problem that you solve might be, um, helping business owners navigate the water, navigate the, the waters of, uh, of technology in their business or to, to kind of help put them at ease with, um, you know, using technology in their business. Whereas a lot of people, a lot of, a lot of business owners, even ones that I talk to about using Infusionsoft are hesitant to do so because learning a new software takes time, takes effort, takes money, takes energy. And then you have to get the whole company's buy-in you know, in order to, to really make it work. So it can be very difficult. So what is that problem that you solve? Um, for Tiffany, yours could be uh, first time travelers who don't know, who don't know how, to, how to plan um, uh, you know, a tour outside of the States, something like that. Now I want to show you guys a basic layout that we're going to be working with tonight. So you know that the, the subject of this talk this evening, the subject of the presentation that I'm giving at SuccessCon next week is my seven secrets to crafting your lead magnet. So I want you to take a version of that. And obviously since tonight we don't have, you know, hours and hours uh, to sit and list, seven or eight or 10 things. Let's just keep it really simple and list three. So I want you to actually write on your piece of paper or type in to your Word doc or Google doc or whatever, um, three. So we're going to do three tips, three secrets, three guidelines, or three mistakes. Remember that example that we had um, when I was showing you the couple of examples, the four Facebook mistakes that every business owner makes. Um, mistakes is a really good kind of uh, buzzword to use uh, for creating your lead magnet. So whatever you want to do. Um, so the three, the three secrets to um, planning your European vacation. Um, the three, the three secrets, the three technology secrets or the three technology tips that every business owner needs to know maybe um the three for dan it might be the three mistakes uh or the three like what the three mistakes every the three mistakes every uh warehouse makes or every factory makes when it comes to power when it comes to their grid when it comes to uh you know i don't know you know, I don't know your jargon anyway. <laughs> um, so think about that and go ahead, go ahead and write that out for yourself on your, your notepad, your Google doc, whatever it is, three blank to do or for or with, and then insert the result, whatever the result is that you're driving them towards. Um, this is what they want to achieve. So 
three secrets for running Facebook ads, three guidelines to learning Infusionsoft, um, you know, something like that. I'll give you guys just a minute. Okay, so let's consider format for just a second. So we've written, we've written the title, whatever, and, and guys, feel free to type in the chat if you want to share your title with everybody. I think that would be great. Um, let's think back to that consumable, um, the consumable format. Let's think back to uh, those learning types. What are you writing? What is it that you want to write here? Do you want to write, write a to-do list, a guide? Um, are you writing a script because it's going to be audio or it's going to be a video? <clears throat> you know, maybe you can choose what format you want it to be in. Um, I know, Adrian, you said you already have an ebook, so maybe if you have an ebook and that that will satisfy like the visual learners, maybe you want to create an audio, or maybe now you want to create. Um, you want to create like a to-do list or a guide of some sort that would kind of satisfy those people that like to have, um, you know, actionable items, something like that. So kind of write to yourself on your notepad real quick. You know, do you want this to be a script, a list, a guide, a video, an ebook, a PDF, something like that. And again, feel free to, to type in the chat and share with everybody if you'd like. I, and I'll tell you guys real quick, I specifically chose um, to do a script because it's a lot easier for me to, to have these bullet points and to sit and record myself and then um, edit down and pare down my recording than it was for me to, to sit and type all day. It's a lot easier for me to talk and get my thoughts out in that way than it is for me to sit and type. So it could have as much, so, so the format and the thing that you're going to write could have as much to do with your learning types and your audience as it does with, with the way that you like to process information as well. So let's look at um, what your three tips must have. And this is more or less a reminder of the strategy that we went over just a bit ago. It should match your mission. It needs to lead into your offer and it needs to solve one problem. So if, yeah, so Tiffany, I think Tiffany is on the right track. If um, you're doing a, a list of tips for uh, tips is great too for you know three tips for why you should visit um, the islands I would even specify what type of islands are you talking Virgin Islands Caribbean like you know uh, you know I mean technically New York City is an island right so like what specific islands get really really specific about what it is that you're talking about um, it matches your mission perfectly because you're a tour company so I like it um, and then it does, it does solve one problem. So that's really, really good. Dan says he's working on the guide. I like it. Very good, guys. Adrian has three ways marketing technology can help you win new agency clients. Beautiful. Oh, you guys are awesome. Oh, my gosh. Please fly to San Diego next week and be in my audience. <laughs> Uh, but yep, just make sure it matches your mission, it leads into your offer, um, and it solves one problem. So you guys are right on track. Very, very good. So let's actually go through um, those three, three tips or the three guidelines or um, the three 
ways, the three ways marketing technology can do this. Um, for Dan, it might be the three, the three guidelines for, for buying um, a power, uh, you know, that thing. <laughs> um, for Tiffany, the, the, three, the three reasons why you should visit the Virgin Islands, something like that. So let's actually go through the process of writing those three tips. So I want you to write on your notepad or your uh, Google Doc, I want you to write <clears throat> one, two, three, right on top of each other. And then um, let's actually take a minute to write those tips. Great. Um, and remember, this really goes back into, like we were talking about, what is your business? What's the service or product that you provide? What is, what's the value that you're delivering to your clients? That's what each of these are going to represent. So you have an item, or you have a tip, or you have a guideline. Uh, or you have your three ways of, of, of you know, three ways marketing technology can help you. So you have your three, your three helpful points. You know, what are those? And feel free to type in the chat if you guys like. So the way that I did mine, and I'll be happy to share my, my PDF, my video, my audio, whatever you guys want. I'm, I'm happy to share mine with you. So you can kind of take that as an example as well. Um, but I, in my PDF and in my audio, I would list, similar to what I did here tonight, um, here's the tip or here's the secret. You know, secret number one is, and now let's talk about it. Secret number two is, and now let's talk about it. Secret number three is, okay, and now let's go ahead and talk about it. Um, and even for now, because again, you know, we have a limited amount of time here, but you can go ahead and um, kind of start to bullet point that out. <clears throat> so Dan says, you must measure your power quality and not guess. Absolutely. I love that. Uh, relate power quality events to your production loss. Brilliant. And then use a good quality power meter. Um, awesome. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. That's awesome, Dan. Very, very good. <clears throat> so once, excuse me, guys. Once you have your three tips or your three ways, your three helpful points, your three guidelines um, written out, then now we can go ahead and take that and we can bullet out the rest of it. Um, or you can sit down with those three things in mind and you can start to write that script. Um, and then I would highly recommend, and this is truly what I did, um, when I created my audio, um, I have video and audio uh, editing software, and it's something that I actually enjoy doing. I enjoy spending my time doing something like this, but I took the time, um, I took the time to actually go through that editing process myself because I wanted to be, um, I wanted to make sure that I, like, was was basically the quality control and that everything went the way that I wanted and sounded the way that I wanted and so I t I spent a lot of time editing uh, but that was really important to me but maybe you know if you you know I uh, for instance I 
hate making graphics. I truly, I hate it. It is one of my least favorite things to do. I also am, am not blessed with a visual eye to, to make good looking things like that. So for me, it was really important for me to hire somebody on um, Upwork.com or Fiverr, F-I-V-E-R-R, -R, um, to create my PDF, to create that visual, because that's just, that's not who I am. That's not my strong suit. So go on Upwork or go on Fiverr and hire, you know, uh, an, uh, an audio editor or a PDF creator or a graphics designer or a video editor or somebody who can help you um, for a relatively low amount of money. I'd say like probably like a hundred dollars or less, depending on the length. Um, you should be able to, to hire somebody to help you get this created pretty easily. I did say that I would show you how to deliver this in Infusionsoft. So pretty straightforward. Um, we would create a landing page in Infusionsoft um, that would give them a glimpse of what it is that they were downloading, would give them that visual, would tell them, you know, this is going to be the three, the three tips for doing blank, the three secrets of planning a great vacation, the three, um, <clears throat> you know, whatever it is, and then um, give some statistics on why it's important, what it is that you're offering, and then would that would have uh, the opt-in right there. So it would be the, you know, first name and then email address. And then um, inside of the delivery sequence, we would just simply tag them that they have downloaded uh, the the product or the lead magnet. Um, we would actually deliver it to them, whether it's um, whether it's a file that is uploaded as an attachment into an Infusionsoft email, which can be done, and I'll gladly show you guys how to do that. Um, or if it's uh, hosted on like Google Drive or Amazon S3 or Dropbox or hosted on your website, wherever that is. Um, you would deliver that to them and then go ahead and add your follow-up sequence in there as well. So just to wrap up, when creating your lead magnet, you want to think about what it is that you do, what's your end product or service, what results are you providing them. You want to give them that glimpse into what it would be like to work with you or what they can expect to achieve from working with you. Consider your format create the product, and then deliver it. So thank you all so, so much for being on here again, for dedicating the time um, to committing to your business. It, you know, I, I sent this invitation to plenty of other people and, you know, you chose to, to show up and be present and, to make things happen to propel your business forward. So congratulations for that. Thank you all so, 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 so much for being on with me this evening. I hope that this was um, valuable and educational and I'm, uh, thanks Dan. Um, I'm so excited to, to know you all and um, to be working with you guys. So if you have any questions at all, if you want to go over the content together, if you want to, you know, um, help moving forward. I'd be glad to go over any of this with you guys, either in our membership um, or on one of our calls. So hope you all have a fantastic evening. I'm going to go eat dinner. I'm starving, um, but have a lovely evening and uh, we'll talk to you all very, very soon. Thanks guys. Have a good night.